the capital of Catholicism, a grand repository of art and history. It is the Vatican. Today's secrets will be revealed. Brace yourself for an unforgettable odyssey through the veiled mysteries of the Vatican, home to the world's smallest sovereign state, as we embark on a chilling expedition into the depths of hidden truths that have been shrouded in secrecy for ages. Welcome to a journey like no other, where history, intrigue, and the pursuit of truth converge within the walls of the Vatican. The Vatican Secret Archives The Vatican Secret Archives, despite their name, are not so secret. They house an immense collection of historical documents, including state papers, correspondence, papal account books, and other official documents of the Catholic Church. However, what makes it a point of intrigue is that not all of its contents are open to the public or researchers. There is speculation about what these non-disclosed documents might reveal. For centuries, the archives have been the subject of wild theories and speculations, ranging from hidden evidence about Jesus' bloodline to documents relating to extraterrestrial life. The Church states that these theories have overblown and that most undisclosed documents are simply not organized or indexed for public use. However, this doesn't stop the speculations. For instance, some conspiracy theorists suggest that the Church may be hiding damaging historical documents that could challenge its authority or official teachings. While these theories lack solid evidence, the secrecy surrounding some of the archives inevitably fuels such suspicion. Suppression of the Knights Templar the Knights Templar, a medieval Christian military order, fell foul of the Vatican in the early 14th century. The group had become incredibly powerful and wealthy, which threatened the authority of both the Pope and King of France. In response, Pope Clement V disbanded the order in 1312 under pressure from King Philip IV of France. Many Knights Templar were arrested on trumped-up charges, ranging from hearsay to sodomy. They were put through torturous inquisitions, and many confessed under duress. The last Grandmaster, Jacques de Molay, was burned at the stake in 1314, maintaining the Order's innocence until his death. The abrupt and brutal suppression of the Knights Templar remains one of the darker chapters in the Vatican's history. Some theories suggest that remnants of the Order went underground and continue to exist in different forms today, such as the Freemasons. The Vatican's Role in the Croatian Holocaust during World War II, the Ustase regime in Croatia committed brutal atrocities against Serbs, Jews, and Roma, resulting in hundreds of thousands of deaths. The Vatican's role in this horrific period has been a point of controversy. Critics claim that the Vatican was aware of the Ustase's crimes, yet remained silent. Some even suggest that it helped Ustase officials escape justice after the war. However, these allegations are controversial and often disputed. Defenders of the Vatican argue that the Church was in a complex position during the war, doing what it could to alleviate suffering, without directly provoking Axis powers. Nonetheless, the extent of the Vatican knowledge of the Ustase atrocities and its response remains a subject of heated debate. The Reign of Pope Alexander VI Pope Alexander VI, born Rodrigo Borgia, was Pope from 1492 until his death in 1503. His papacy is infamous for allegations of nepotism, corruption, and moral depravity. He fathered several children, openly acknowledged them, and appointed them to influential positions. Moreover, his pursuit of political power often overshadowed his spiritual duties. He is accused of buying his way to the papacy, and his tenure was marked by political manipulations and alleged murders. The reign of Pope Alexander VI is often seen as the epitome of church corruption during the Renaissance leading to increasing calls for reform. The Magdalene Laundries Between the 18th and late 20th centuries, so-called Magdalene Laundries were run by Catholic orders in several countries, including Ireland. These institutions housed fallen women, an archaic term for those perceived as sexually promiscuous, or even young women who were merely attractive enough to be considered a temptation for men. Women and girls in these laundries were subjected to harsh living conditions, forced labor, and often physical and psychological abuse. These laundries were supported by the church and the society at the time, although the Vatican itself didn't run them. The last Magdalene laundry in Ireland didn't close until 1996. It took until 2018 for the Pope to officially acknowledge and apologize for the church's role in the suffering caused in these institutions. 
This dark secret has left a lasting impact on the church's relationship with women and its role in supporting oppressive societal norms. Sexual Abuse Scandals One of the darkest secrets associated with the Vatican is the sexual abuse scandal involving priests around the world. Over the past few decades, numerous cases of child sexual abuse within the church have come to light, shaking the Catholic community to its core. Critics accuse the church of systematically covering up these cases to protect its image, often moving offending priests to new locations rather than reporting them to authorities. The scandal has prompted demands for accountability and justice for survivors, their family and advocates worldwide. Under increasing pressure, the Vatican has initiated reforms to address this issue, including defrocking guilty priests and implementing preventative measures. However, many argue that progress has been too slow and insufficient, casting a long shadow over the Church's moral authority. The Vatican Bank's Scandals Over the years, the Vatican Bank, officially known as the Institute for the Works of Religion, has been embroiled in various scandals. In the 1980s, it was implicated in the fraudulent bankruptcy of Banco Ambrosiano, one of Italy's largest private banks, leading to the mysterious death of its chairman, Roberto Calvi. There have also been allegations of money laundering and lack of transparency, raising questions about the financial dealings of the church. The bank's dealings have often been shrouded in secrecy, leading to calls for increased transparency and accountability. In response to these controversies, the Vatican Bank has undergone several reforms in recent years to enhance its financial transparency and compliance with international norms. However, the past scandals have left a lasting mark on the Vatican's reputation. The Pope Pius XII Controversy Pope Pius XII's role during the Holocaust is a subject of intense debate. Critics accuse him of remaining silent during Hitler's final solution, when six million Jews were systematically exterminated. Defenders argue that Pope Pius XII worked behind the scenes to help Jews, fearing that public condemnation could worsen the situation. They point out instances where the Pope secretly worked to save Jewish lives by providing visas and hiding Jews within Catholic institutions. Despite this, Pope Pius XII's silence on the public stage during one of the worst atrocities in human history is seen by many as a dark period for the Vatican. This controversy has had significant implications for the Vatican's relationship with the Jewish community and its position on global humanitarian crises. Number 2. The Priestly Celibacy Debate The Catholic Church's requirement of celibacy for priests has been a contentious issue for many years. Critics argue that this mandate is not based on scripture, but rather in a tradition that evolved over time. They believe it may contribute to issues like the shortage of priests and even the sexual abuse scandal. Furthermore, there have been numerous cases where priests have secretly fathered children, violating their vow of celibacy. These children of the ordained often grow up in secrecy and silence, leading to emotional distress and a sense of betrayal. The Vatican has historically defended priestly celibacy, viewing it as a spiritual discipline that allows priests to fully devote themselves to their mission. The Third Secret of Fatima The Secrets of Fatima are a series of visions and prophecies given by an apparition of the Virgin Mary to three young Portuguese shepherds in 1917. The first two secrets were revealed in the 1940s, but the third one was kept confidential by the Vatican until 2000. The third secret allegedly predicted the attempted assassination of Pope John Paul II in 1981. However, some believe that the Vatican has not disclosed the full content of the third secret. And there you have it folks, 10 dark secrets that offer a different perspective on the Vatican, the center of the Roman Catholic Church. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into history's most fascinating topics. Until next time.